Good morning, students. How are you all? So today we are here to start up our next chapter from the part of history. So the name of a chapter that today we are going to start is the Indus Valley Civilization. That is the chapter number fourth, and you all are completely aware that we had already completed down the first three chapter. So today we are going to start up the further part from this book. Okay. So as the name of the chapter is Indus Valley Civilization, so definitely we are going to understand, we are going to discuss down in detail about how the Indus Valley Civilization is preceded down in the historic period. Okay. So the first question here is how we came to know about the Indus Valley Civilization as it is belonging to the history. It is included down in the part of the history. So the concept is actually related with the history. So this. is being traced down by Daya Ram Sahani and discovered in 1921 so Daya Ram Sahani who is one who discovered about the Indus Valley civilization okay so we came to know about the life of the earliest people how they are living in this civilization what kind of a discoveries was there at the, in this place and how the town was there how the land standard of people uh, living there in the Indus Valley civilization in this chapter okay so the earliest civilization was there indus civilization is there and location and living condition of the indus people occupation and trade of indus people religious practices belief and script of indus people so as we all are aware that we are living in a country where religious practices are matter a lot and this is practiced down from the ancient time period it is not like the religious practices and beliefs are happened in a modern india or in a modern time period definitely not so the religious practices and belief are also came from our past are came from our history after that we came to know about how the decline of indus valley civilization occurred down and at the end we will discuss down a case study that is related with the two sides of indus valley civilization so starting off with the chapter the first question that came in our mind is that we are talking about indus valley civilization what is the meaning of civilization from where it came so civilization actually developed state of human society with a large number of people living in cities or urban settlement okay they led a settled and prosperous life and showed technological advancement as well where the people from belonging from the same community or belonging from the same society same group when they start living together that is representing the civilization so the civilization also begins down from the early farmers as they produce down the food that is actually required and various occupations are being started down by them collectively that is pottery making was there weaving is there spinning is there so these kind of activities are started down by the early people and the life of the early people has changed a lot just because of these activities because of their own growth they started doing these activity they made down the group for their survival and definitely their lifestyle has became more better and a good perspective of that okay so students here is one extract given you all are aware how to attempt this extract that firstly you have to read the extract what is actually the extract depicting down the disappearance of the culture okay so you have to read the extract thoroughly and after reading the extract we have to solve down the question that is given below the extract the first question is related with what happens when a civilization disappear so the answer for that is uh, survivors are left with the solid evidences and perishable myths okay so the second one what happened to the city of pompey so the city of pompey was buried under a volcanic eruption in 79 before common era and uh, what happened to the rome empire and the ancient rome empire is said to have fallen in 476 bce after heavy defeat by the german tribes but a large part of continued to flourished in the eastern mediterranean by as a byzantine empire 
okay so these are the answer of the extract and you read the extract very well and very carefully to get the understanding of the extract moving further now we are going to understand about earlier civilization as rajay the chapter name is indus valley civilization but not only indus valley civilization was there which is being traced down by the historian instead of indus valley civilization the other civilizations are also being there which is being traced down by the historian so we are just going to read the name of those civilization the first one is representing the mesopotamian civilization the second one is depicting down the egyptian civilization third one is considered as an indus valley civilization and fourth one is considered as a chinese civilization so rajay when we are talking about civilization the people who are living in the ancient india they prefer to live near the river they prefer to live at the bank of the river the main reason behind that is so the main reason for that is uh, the uh, uh, crop actually the soil that is near the river is very much fertile so it is very beneficial for the li uh, living of the people that they can able to grow up the different crops in that place in a very easy manner so we are just going to understand uh, which civilization belong to which rivers or near which river okay so starting up with the first civilization that is mesopotamian civilization that emerged down between two rivers what are those two river the first river is tigris and the second river is euphrates okay and that is in a present time period is in iraq okay and another one is related with second civilization that is known as egyptian civilization egyptian civilization we may check out near the near the river nile in africa third one is related with the china civilization so the river that is near that civilization is havang ho and the fourth that we are going to discuss down in this chapter in detail is definitely the indus valley civilization and where we can able to see this indus valley civilization at it is commonly found at the bank of the river indus so that is the main reason it is considered as an indus valley civilization rajit the civil civilization is also known as harappa civilization i will tell you why it is known as harappan civilization but firstly you need to understand only one thing that indus valley civilization flourished down along with the bank of river indus and that is the main reason the civilization named as indus valley civilization so here here is one search and surf is given so let's explore what is given here find out about the extent and the date of mesopotamian civilization we just need to find out the extent and the date of mesopotamian civilization and uh, we came to know that mesopotamian civilization which emerged between the two rivers that is tigris and the euphrates so let's go to the answer the mesopotamian civilization that is 5009 and 3500 bce uh, was the eastern mediterranean bond in the north east by the zargos mountain in the south east by the arabian plateau okay so the ancient civilization were more progressive and the different way from the neolithic cultures and the way how it is more better down so the urban cities are mainly find out here urban places urban cities are mainly find out there the towns are so well planned the people are live, start living in the indus valley civilization the people are start living a well settled life they have each and everything like uh, whatsoever we have most of the things we got from the indus valley civilization the people engage themselves in the trading activities and the mining activities along with that they have some kind of a government as well they are started finding out more technological advancement as well okay so domestication of animal domestication of animals means animals ko palna so the domestication of animals are also being started down by these people they engage themselves in the pottery making 
in the weaving activities so these are the main activities which you can able to check out in these civilizations so civilization is considered as a developed one a better lifestyle of a people started one before the civilization the life of people is not so settled down it's not so perfect one but in a civilization when we are talking about civilization each and everything that they have in a so beautiful manner in a so perfect manner so their life is now settled down they have started down each and activity every activity state purposes mining activities technological advancement urban city drainage system is here town is well planned so each and everything is available in the civilizations okay so moving further when we are talking about this indus valley civilization so we may need to understand about the indian subcontinent and where it is flourished down so the extent of indus valley civilization we can able to see as in the between the 2500 to 1500 before common era so most of the site of indus valley civilization were developed around the bank of river indus here you can able to check out from the map as well so this map is actually showing the indian subcontinent are actually near the river indus and the indus valley civilization okay so the tributaries in the northwest part of the indian subcontinent and uh, this is also known as harappan civilization as i told you that i i am just going to tell you why it is known as harappan civil civilization rajiv because the first site that is traced down in the indus valley civilization the first site is that is traced down here is harappa and the second one is considered as a mohenjo jodaro okay so the first sound here the site is find out here is harappa that is the main reason it is known as harappan civilization as well if someone ask you what is another name of indus valley civilization so definitely you have to respond down the harappan civilization so further we are just going to understand about the discovery of this civilization which what happened in this in 1856 the british engineers were there that is leading down their east indian railway company try to connect the cities with the karachi and lahore and the ruins of harappa as well so the quality of the bricks uh, burnt bricks are being used down there and later in 1920 excavation were created doubt that the harappa has one another site as well the but are those another site as i told you the first site is considered as a harappa and the second site is considered down as a mohenjodaro this mohenjodaro is now in the pakistan and the harappa is located in the mont montgomery district of punjab pakistan okay so this is being excavated as a first line when we started down we came to know that it is wrong the indus valley civilization discovery is being traced down by daya ram sahani so the ruins of harappa were discovered down along with the river of the ravi and with the tributaries of indus mohenjodaro was literally mean as mound of the death in sindhi okay so it is located as a larkhana district of sindh province in pakistan and the ruins of mohenjodaro were discovered by the rakhal das banerji along with the river indus okay so what you came to know in the discovery that say we came to know that the harappa uh, site is there and after that after some time we came to know that along with the harappa the first site that was excavated is harappa okay but after some time we came to know that along with the harappa there is one more site and what is the name of that site that is mohenjodaro now mohenjodaro you can able to see in a present time period it is in pakistan and harappa is located in the mund mund Gimri district of the Punjab in Pakistan. Okay, so it is also Mohenjo-daro is also literally meant as a mound of death in Sindhi, and the ruins of Mohenjo-daro were discovered down by Rakhal Das Banerji and along with the bank of river. in this so further we came to know about the extent how it is being spreaded down from where it is being spreaded down in which states in which cities it is being spreaded down so the indus valley spread down over a large part of the present day pakistan so it covered a lot many part of pakistan 
and the indian states as well which are the indian state that covered under the indus valley civilization the first one is related with punjab gujarat is there uttarakhand is uh, uttar pradesh is there rajasthan is there haryana is there modern day afghanistan is there baluchistan is there and uh, you do you know as i told you here the discovery the first site that they found is harappa the second site that they found is mohenjodaro but after that some more sound Uh, sites are being also traced down or discovered down what are those kalibangan is there that is in rajasthan lothal is there and rojdi is there in gujarat dolavira is there in gujarat banavali in rajasthan ropar in punjab so these are the main sites along with the mohenjodaro and harappa that is being traced out in the indus valley civilization so the historian and archaeologist came to know that the main and meant which is being used down here is also known as bronze age why it is known as a bronze age because the people here are starting using the bronze material bronze were produced by mixing copper and the tin and they had actually no knowledge of the iron at that time period the bronze age came after the neolithic age the neolithic age is there and after that age the bronze age came down there in some part of the world it is also known as calcolithic age okay so the bronze is particularly used here they actually we find out a bronze dancing girl here as well so we will discuss about that as well in the indus valley civilization the main uh, structure that we find out is the bronze dancing girl so definitely we came to know that they are preferring to use the bronze as well so some of the questions are given here so you have to answer them orally so let explore this question what are given in this the first question is related with what is civilization so we already came to know what is civilization here is answer given the civilization is a developed stage of human society where a large number of people live in a cities or urban settlement they led a settled and prosperous life prosperous life in means a quality of a life a very good life a relaxing life and show technological advancement okay so the next question is definitely what is included down in the next question let us check out that mention the earliest civilization of the world we came to know that before along with the indus valley indus valley civilization some other civilization was also there so here is the earliest civilization the first one is related with the mesopotamian civilization the second egyptian civilization the indus valley civilization and the chinese civilization are the earliest civilizations of the world okay so the next question is related with which is the earliest civilization in indian subcontinent when we are discussing about indian subcontinent we came to know we just recall only one name that is indus valley civilization so indus valley civilization is actually related with the indian subcontinent okay so further now we are going to understand about the features of indus valley civilization what are the main features that we can able to see up in the indus valley civilization raje as i told you earlier as well in the indus valley civilization you may check out that the towns were so much planned the planning of the town is so perfect each and everything was available in the towns that it is a uh, planned in a so effective manner in a so perfect manner that it is very much easier to live in the indus valley civilization it is very much easier for the people to live in the indus valley civilization so well planned cities was first noted and excavated at harappa and mohenjodaro okay so the high ground area is there a huge man made bricks are being uses down and that was known as citadel so in the citadel we came to know about the granaries of the harappa and mohenjodaro and the great bath of mohenjodaro as well further we are going to discuss about that and the second one is related was the eastern part of the cities that cover and a large area and it is also known as the lower level of citadel okay so this is known as a lower town as well the first part in the town planning 
but reja what you have to write down in the town planning that uh, the town is properly well planned they have each and everything the main sites that we find out in the town planning is first one is harappa and the second one is related with mohenjodaro okay so citadel is there uh, first uh, the second part is representing the lower town is there so the common people are actually living here some places are here that is related with the defense walls and irrigated all around the cities okay so further we are going to discuss down in detail about the town planning of indus valley civilization citadel is there and the along with the citadel the lower town is there the citadel is further divided into two parts the first one is related with great path at mohenjodaro and the second one is related with the granaries at harappa and mohenjodaro okay so what is included down in the citadel rajay the great path is there here you can able to check out from the picture as well so what else is included down in the great path as it is considered as a raised part of indus cities so building the most important building also we can able to say that is an indus valley civilization is a great path so why they are using this great bath just to store down the different granaries there so great bath is a rectangular in shape and it is why it is named as a great bath because here you can able to check out the structure of great bath is kind of a swimming pool it is kind of a like a swimming pool so that is known as uh, that is why it is known as a great bath and it is at mohenjodaro that is site of harappa we already know that so the granaries at harappa and mohenjodaro were built at the citadel fire altars was there in the kalibangan and lothal is there so domestications and ritual purpose are performed down there the discovery of great bath at mohenjodaro is one of the most famous and important structure of the indus valley civilization as i told you it is in a rectangular shape and probably seemed like a swimming pool and it is a kind of a tank that's why it is known as a name as a great bath okay so whatever probably brought from the wells and drains are after used and along with that it is believed that the tank may have been used for the religious purposes or the people may have bought here on the special occasion this tanks were advanced engineer and planning skills of the people and the building that were discovered both at the harappa and mohenjodaro on the citadel were believed to be the granary granary kya hota hai what is the meaning of granary so the granary we all are aware that we used to consume down the granary for the storage purpose we need a good downs in it the spine period we are using the downs uh, to store down the granary but at that time what the people are being used down they are using down the great baths there so the next one is related with the lower town so what is included down in the lower town so lower town is actually seems to have where the common people lived where all the common people are living down is known as the lower town so lower town is also so well planned because the uh, houses are built in a so proper manner burnt bricks are used mud bricks are used for the making of the houses some important features of this civilization is these burnt bricks as well so the roads are properly built down the right angles and dividing the city into rectangular blocks the houses were all two, one or two stories with the room building on the courtyard there were large and small houses as well they had a separate bathing area as well as providing of the water properly so each and everything that a town need is actually available in the lower town so they are using the lower town for their living purposes so So I think you all are aware with the drainage system that every house is actually required a drainage system as well. And do you know the people of Indus Valley Civilization also has these kind of a drainage system. So it is actually highly advanced drainage system. The water pipes are being uh, connected down with the houses. The waste water is drained out with the help of these pipes. Here is the picture of. 
ruins of the showing streets and drains are also being given of the indus valley civilization so drains are also there drains had affected holes at the rectangular interval to clean them so the drainage system in the indus valley civilization is also in a very effective manner in a very good manner so the definitely when the drainage system is there when the each and every facility is there rooms are properly maintained there one story two story houses are there small houses are there big houses are are there so definitely it means they are living a settled down life it means they are living a good life at the quality of a life okay so further we came to know about the occupation of the people so what kind of occupation kya kaam tha logo ka who are living in the indus valley civilization so mainly they are considered as a farmers they are considered as a weavers they are considered as a porters they are considered as a toy makers so these are the main activities which is being done down by these people so we are going to understand about these activities in detail the first one is related with the agriculture and domestication of animals so definitely the word agriculture you all are aware that is related with growing of the different crops so the indus valley people engage themselves in the agricultural activities as well that is the reason na they prefer to live near the river so they engage themselves in the different kind of agricultural activities like they prefer to to grow wheat they prefer to grow barley there they prefer to grow peas and they prefer to grow cotton and one of the greatest thing we came to know in indus valley civilization that the indus valley people were the first to grow the cotton so these people are the first who provide us the cotton we came to know about the cotton with the help of these people plugs and sickles are seen to have been used in the agriculture purpose real plugs are being used by them along with that the people in indus valley civilization prefer the domestication of animal wo wo animals ko palna prefer karte the what kind of domestication of animals were being done by them such as cattle is there sheep is there goat is there buffalo is there so these kind of a domestication were done by the people who are living in indus valley civilization and uh, rajay just one more thing uh, we all are aware about horse but the indus valley people are unaware about horse they are not actually known about the horse that the some kind of animal is there that is named as a horse so that is not aware by the indus valley pe uh, people so along with the farming the people also prefer down the hunting fishing and gathering of the fruits we are aware that uh, the early human being actually surviving down on the hunting purpose so still it is being practiced down in the indus valley civilization as well so the next uh, activity well the next occupational activity which is being done down by the people is mining so what is actually mining mining and gathering of raw material like copper semi precious stones timber shells was another activity which is another occupational activity which is being done by the people actually it this help in the development of the craft alag alag craft ki development ke liye mining help karti hai they find out the raw materials uh, that is related with the copper so they find out the semi precious stones that is we are further being used down in a today's time period as well okay so the various ornament are also being made down by them as it is included in the metal casting so what is there in the metal casting the tools and weapons jo alag alag tools hai jo unke hathiyar hain that are made down with the help of copper and bronze it means the copper and bronze are being used by them and they developed down a statue of dancing girl as well here i am showing you the picture of dancing girl the statue how it looks like so this is actually the picture of dancing girl okay so this is a dancing girl and made up of bronze and people are using that in the ancient time period they made down these kind of a creature various ornaments are being made down there so what kind of ornaments are being made down by the people ornaments that is related with the copper gold silver clay are being made down by them further the jewelry making was there necklaces were made by them 
rings were made by them bracelets were made by them these ornaments are further used by both the men and the women as well as we all are aware the people are very much passionate about the ornaments in today's time period as well but when we are talking about the history from here we came to know that in the ancient india in the ancient time period too the people are crazy about the different ornaments further we came to know about the pottery making the various pottery makings various pots are being made down by the people skilled wheels are being used down by them the next one here is the pottery making so they are making down the different pots as well the potter wheel is used down for making the pot as you can able to see in this picture how beautifully they made down a crafted pot they are broken pieces of pottery with the morphs of animals and the with the geograph uh, geometric designs over being used down by them so they use the different kind of a colors the red color is mainly used as a base color and black designs were made on the pot upon that the next one is related with the weaving activities woven of the clothes found at mohen jodaro okay the spittle terracotta fans and where the spin threads were being used down figurines of the beard man is being made down also as a priest king here you can able to check out the embroidery on the various garment garments are there so the weaving activities are being also used as in skilled art and weaving and the spinning activity is being used as a skilled art by them okay so the next one is related with the sculpture making so sculpture is made up of co copper and bronze okay so the stones of the terracotta toys were being used down there here you may check out how it looks like so the different i had to found at the different side the bird shaped vessels miniature craft and the toy bullocks are being used down by them these are actually the examples of the sculpture making here is the toys are given so this is also being made down in the indus valley civilization or in the harappan civilization so here one is fact file is given as you all are remember we came to know about the dancing girl that is of bronze so bronze dancing girl in today's time period is also exhibited at the national museum that is at new delhi here when you check out the picture you may see that the bronze picture the bronze pottery is so beautifully made down that the left hand is almost covered with the entire of the bangles completely necklace is being made down a uh, wear down by a girl that is containing the three kind of a birds beads so it is so beautifully made that it that it is in present time period is also exhibited in the national museum new delhi when you ever you go to new delhi just check out uh, there is a definitely bronze girl you will find in the national museum so the another one is related with the indus seals seals were also there how it looks like and uh, what are the main activities of these seals so uh, seals were used why we use the seals so seals has been discovered down in the indus sites uh, they are of different size and different figures of animals trees and humans along with the writing carved on them so why we use the steel they had made used to stamp the wet clay and were packaging containing goods ever sealed seal karne ke liye jo goods hain that too is the main reason the seals are being used down so they are made of they are actually in rectangular or square shape and that is made up of the soft stone so soft stone is being used down while making down these seals so further here is a picture picture depicting so what does it depicting down these kinds of a seals were being used down at that time period which animals are depicting on these seals humped bull and elephant you may check out these animals are being looked out in the seals the next one is they where have these seals being preserved preserved they have preserved at the british museum in time period today is okay so the next one is related with the indus script so what is included down in the indus script indus script is actually a pictographic script many of the people believe that it has been discovered or derived from the sumerian script uh, used by the mesopotamian 
and also a picture base these symbols and the pictures in the script represent a sound or word many seals of the indus scripts are there on this and the sum of the information are yet to de decipher decipher means yet to trace down we are unaware about that we still need to trace down that okay so the another one is trading activities as we came to know that the trade export and imports are also being done by these people so they exchange down the goods from one place to another with the help of waterways mainly the waterways are being used down by these people indus peoples are exchanging the goods with the help of the presence of seals port towns that is in lothal uh, that is far away from the lands as well they are using the water for the trade purposes waterway ships are being used by them for the trading activities so what are the main activities of the trading contained down the imported of the copper jo copper ko kya karte the they imported down the copper in the present day rajasthan from the rajasthan gold from the present day karnataka precious and semi precious stones such as lapis and lazuli and turkis have been made brought down from afghanistan and persia raja you have to learn these paragraphs to understand from which thing from where they had imported down okay so that is now in the iran as well so they probably brought down jade from the central asia or tibet so export and imports are mainly being done by these people they pursue down their culture as well to flourish down their trading activity so trade we all are aware that when we are trading with another country it made our relationship more better with that country it made our relation good with that country so the trading activities are also being done by them trading activities activities that is related with the transfer of goods from one city to another or we may consider as a business activity as well so here is the another uh, question orally answer orally given so we have to answer the questions orally so let's discuss that as well mention the two part into which most of the indus cities were divided citadel and lower town we came to know that these are the two parts from where here if you remember we came to know about citadel and the lower town so the next question which important buildings were made on the citadel we came to know the great bath is there the granaries is there which is being made to at the citadel what were the granaries used for storing grains so definitely the granaries are used just to store down the grains but where is the great bath located so where is great bath located it is in the mohenjodaro we came to know about that as well the next question and the last one is considered as name the various animal domesticated by indus valley people cattle is there sheep is there goat is there buffalo is there and uh, can you please name the animal which is not being known by them so definitely that is horse okay so further now we are going to understand about the religious practices of those people they too believe in the god they too prefer to do the activities that is religious kind of activities so the worshiping kind of nature that the indus people have they too worship down the trees that is people and animals that is hum bull and other as well so they start worshiping the god pashupati and the mother goddess as well so the male uh, wear, uh, male figure wearing horned head dress has been found there and that is in the yogic posture here i am just showing you the pashupati seal is a uh, seal is there and the people who are living in the ancient time period the people who are living in the indus valley civilization they are worshiping the god the male god that is pashupati that is actually the shiva god okay so they are worshiping that and of if i talk about the female god so which is the female god that is being worshiped down by them so that is mother goddess mother goddess they have a strong belief in the mother goddess no temple like structure is being found out by them and it is actually believed that because raja we are talking about history and we are not just seen down the history the historian are the one who search about the history so they just search about history by knowing the different things they by searching about the different elements from there so from that they just get out about to know about the history 
सो इट इज़ बिलीव इट इज़ ओनली बिलीव दैट द ग्रेट बात दैट इज़ इन द मोहन जुदारो हैज़ अ रिलीजियस पर्पज द पीपल हैव अ रिलीजियस फेथ इन द ग्रेट बात ग्रेव्स एंड विद द पोर्ट्स कंटेनिंग फूड्स और ना मैंशन वेरियस आर्टिकल्स व यूज बाय द पीपल दैट हैज़ बीन डिस्कवर्ड एंड दीज पीपल्स आर कंसिडर टू बिलीव डाउन द लाइफ आफ्टर डेथ दे आर एक्चुअली बिलीविंग दैट देर इज अ सम काइंड ऑफ अ लाइफ एज well after the death from the earth okay so the two case studies are given down here the case study of lothal and the second case study is dolabira we all are completely aware these are also the sites that we find out in the indus valley civilization so let's explore what is given in the case study of lothal and dolabira so starting off with the first case study that is lothal Actually, the city of Lothal situated along the bank of the tributary that is Sabarmati, that is in Gujarat, and that is actually close to the Gulf of the Kambat as well. As we completely aware that it is an Indus site. Lothal is considered as an Indus site, and Indus sites are further divided down. So similarly, the Lothal is also divided down into two parts. The first part is related with the citadel, and the second part is related with the lower town. One door. dockyard are also being find out here the dockyard is considered as a large tank like brick structure is there so that is finded out in the lothal city or uh, the lothal site and this dockyard is considered as a world oldest dockyard this dockyard seem to be a world or oldest dockyard and it is believed that the trading activities are pursued down from here the lothal is the main part uh, the lothal is considered to be the main site from where the trading activities are being done down okay so near that uh, uh, situated down the area that is rich in the semi precious stone and uh, we all are aware about the semi precious stone that is lazuli and the lapis is there so this area is quite near where we can able to find out in the semi -pre precious stones and for the store house and the ceiling were found out in the building that were worshiping of the beads have been found here and along with that when we discussed about the dola vira dola vira was located on the khader island in the run of kutch and it is considered as a major city of the harappan cities as well so further the dola vira is now divided into the three parts and lothal we discussed it is divided into two parts but on the contrary the dola vira is divided into three parts the first part is representing the citadel is there the second part is representing the middle town and the third part is representing the lower town okay so this is considered as a massive stone wall as well that is known as a gateway and a large open area is being find out in the citadel and the lower town here is the picture of that large open area is given here so it is believed that here you may check out when a litter kind of a things are being written down with a white color white stones are being used down and dola vira is an inscription that is representing the harappan script and large letters are being made down or written down here so in the scripts has been seen an objects like seals uh, which were small in the size will be find out in the dola vira but now this next part is related with the decline of indus valley civilization as we came to know that each and everything in the indus valley civilization in going in a so smooth way but the time period for indus valley civilization lasted about 2500 bce to 1500 BCE approximately or only we can able to say. So what is the main reason why it is decline down? Decline down मतलब इसका खत्म होना. The period that is Indus Valley civilization is decline down. What is the main reason for that? Raja, the historian are still unaware about that. No exact data we have. No exact declaration for that we know. Why it is ended down? It is kind of assumptions or possibilities that is being given down by some scholars and some historians. 
historians as well so we may check out what kind of possibilities were given down by them the various reasons that might possible the end of the or the decline of indus valley civilization happened out it is believed that it might possible that some kind of natural calamities calamities is up or down natural calamities means like flood happened down earthquake will happen down and it destroyed down the whole indus valley civilization then another example or the another reason that is believed maybe some kind of an environmental change occur down just because they are cutting down the flu, uh, trees their deforestation happened down at a larger scale because they are making uh, baking the bricks uh, they are using the wood they are actually grazing the cattle sheep it might possible some kind of a deforestation happen down there that is a way, reason that the survival is not possible for the human further anymore and another reason to be assumed these all are considered to be the assumptions only no perfect data is still we are unable to trace why it is going to be ended down these all are just an assumption we just assume down these reasons that it might possible these kind of activities will happen down there okay so another reason here is forwarded down just because the indus river that might possible at that time was sook chuki thi it is dried down up so it might possible the source of water was there they don't have and without the source of water their survival is not possible and these people forced to move with any other area and the last assumption that is being made down here it might possible the new invasions of the aryans were came into our india or came into the place so that is the main reason the indus valley civilization is going to be ended down but students i am again saying no full explanation of these are given below because these are considered as a little bit assumptions or these are not a perfect data so these are considered only the assumption and when we are talking about the assumption it means we we are just assuming the things no particular data we have for that okay so this is all about our indus valley civilization hope you are clear with that so here is one extract more given that is answer orally so let's explore that what is given here what did indus people worshiping we all are aware that what are the indus people worshiping here we discuss about the religious practices of indus people so the indus people seems to have been worshipers of the nature and male god pashupati and the female god mother goddess also seems to be worshiped by them next question here is what is script so what is script we all are aware with that so script the script is a style of writing used by people for language they use okay so the next one is mention two important indus sites in gujarat lothal and dolavira are the main two important indus sites that are in the gujarat where were the remains of the dokya discovered so it is discovered down in the lothal the last one is how many parts of dolavira divided into it is divided down into three parts the first one is representing citadel the second one is representing modal middle town and the third one is representing the lower town here is a meanwhile given the egypt the king of egypt actually they buried down under the tombs that is pyramid and their dead bodies are still being preserved down that is known as mummy okay so along with that it is believed that when the king dead down in the egypt so along with that the drinking purposes the food the clothes the ornament of all the kings are being buried down along with that okay so along with that their slaves are also being buried alive with them that is all related with the history of the complete world so this is all about our today's chapter hope you are clear with that so let's revise it once what are main things we came to know firstly we came to know about the civilization what was actually the meaning of civilization further we came to know about different kind of a civilization the different early civilization mesopotamian civilization is there egyptian civilization is there indus valley civilization is there chinese civilization is there 
further we came to know about uh, the uh, the part that is indus valley civilization how it is discovered down what are the areas that is extended down here and along with that we came to know about the different features that are all related with the indus valley civilization so what are the main feature the town planning was there in indus valley civilization in a proper manner the drainage system there is wonderful the occupation of the people there are different kind of occupation are there occupation consisting of agriculture activity domestication of animal mining activity metal casting is there ornament is there ornament making is there pottery making is there weaving is there so in the sculpture making is there further we came to know that the indus seals are being used down by these people indus scripts are being written down and the trading activities are being done down by the people and we all are completely aware the trade activities are further beneficial for all the people and other countries as well the religious practices we came to know in the religious practices we came to know that they worshiping down the nature and along with that they had a strong belief in the god pashupati male god pashupati and the female god is that is mother goddess they seems to be worshiped down those and these people believed in the life after death and after that we came to know about the case study of lothal and dolavira and in the end we came to know that the historian and scholars are still does not be able to understand why the indus valley civilization has declined down but some of the reasons some of the assumptions are being given down by them that is proving down the decline of the indus valley civilization so students this is all about the chapter so now what you have to do after seeing down this video you have to revise the chapter thoroughly from your book read the chapter thoroughly from your book and after reading the chapter try to attempt the exercise that is given at the end of the chapter and rajay make make sure that you try to attempt this exercise by yourself without taking help of any other person